First of all, let me say thank you to AMA and um, thank you to Jeff for uh, inviting me up here to talk to you all. Um, we met about a year ago at the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association convention and I walked into the AMA building there and I said I just want to thank you for um, everything you've done for me because if it wasn't for model aviation I would not be doing what I'm doing today which is working in the light sport industry um, and flying as a full-scale pilot and uh, AMA had a lot to do with that and so I just want to share with you my story um, for young people and also for people in clubs that are wondering what they can do to help young people um, get involved in aviation. Uh, so many times I hear that young people aren't interested in models anymore and I just want to say we are out there. We're here. I was younger 20 years ago um, <laughs> but we are out here and those of us that are into aviation I think tend to stay in aviation and um, it's not just a hobby for us, it becomes a way of life. Um, in case you're wondering, this photo up here is a peanut scale pass bed Skylark that I built from uh, three views and a couple of photos. I flew it in the indoor nationals a couple of years ago. And um, it really sums up my life so far. The, the photo in the background is a picture of one of my mentors. I'll talk more about him later. He's actually the one that showed me that airplane at Oshkosh on the flight line, and I went and took some photos of it. And um, modeling has just directed my life in so many ways. So, first of all, starting out as a young kid, my parents had an art gallery in their house, and my father, shown here, carved birds out of wood and my mom was an oil painter. And we were, I was surrounded from the very beginning with creative people um, and things that flew. Since my dad carved birds, we were avid bird watchers. There were birds everywhere in my house. I drove my art teacher nuts because every project I wanted to do something with birds. And uh, thankfully she allowed me to do that and encouraged me. Um, here my dad's working on a, a bald eagle that you, entered in several art shows. It's one of his major sculptures. Um, I started out in modeling, um, bugging my mother all the time because I was bored and looking for things to do. And she signed me up to go to a 4-H club in town that was just starting out. And one of their programs that they offered um, was model aviation, which is kind of weird because 4-H is normally into farming and things like that. And since we didn't have a farm, and I was interested in things that flew, and I wanted to build stuff, model aviation was a perfect fit. My very first model airplane kit came to me in the form of a Christmas present. It was a Comet J3 Cub. I put the plans up here. You can see I still have some yellow paper stuck to it after 25 years. I was about eight years old. And I remember sitting there looking at these plans, trying to figure out how things went together. I had no idea what the different parts of an airplane were, or you know, what a dummy engine was, for example. Trying to figure out why, if this airplane's a rubber band powered, why I have to build a motor and stick one on each side of the, of the airplane. Um, Anybody that builds airplanes now is, would tell you that a Comet kit would not make a very good beginner model. But I didn't get discouraged. I actually started on the model. It was not going very well. And then in walked Larry and Audrey Huber. This man has played a huge role in my life um, for both full scale and models. Um, he was the first one that the 4-H club turned to he was in the local RC club called the Bay Flyers Model Club in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. And he came to our club meeting one time and brought along a 1928, a Peck Polymers model. And this, this experience has moved me to the point where I still remember this 25 years later, just looking at that model, looking at the light shining through the fuselage. 
and wondering how that all went together. And in the weeks that followed, Larry presented a building clinic for kids at the Door County Library. And we would show up every, it was like one or two nights a week. And the first models that we built were one night 16s, which is the smaller version of that. It's all built up fuselage, tissue covered. And he walked us through every part of how to build a model airplane, from how to cut the wood to how to cover it with tissue paper. One thing we didn't do is we didn't use dope because the librarians would have kicked us out if we opened a jar to open it. But we used uh, Elmer's glue with white, uh, Elmer's glue thinned with water to cover it. And they flew wonderfully. Uh, without any effort at all, you'd wind them up and they would just take off and fly. And it was a wonderful way to get us all hooked on aviation. We'd also start playing around with like ball, sheet balsa gliders and things like that to learn aerodynamics. Um, basically, all of the aerodynamics knowledge that I had came when it came time to get my private pilot's license was due to modeling. And these early years where I was figuring out how to make the airplane do um, what it needed to do. And that's me. I was about 10 years old, and that's my completed Comet Piper J3 Cub that I was only able to complete because of Larry's help. I was kind of a dorky little kid. And that's the group picture taken after the mall show that year. Um, I'm down there in the lower right-hand corner. These guys were so special to me because even though I was a dorky little kid, when I walked into a room with all these guys for the uh, monthly meeting of the model club, I felt like I was one of them. I didn't feel any pressure to fit in. Obviously, I wasn't really going to fit in very well, like I did at school. They didn't judge me for anything other than the models that I would bring and show off. And they would compliment me on how far my craftsmanship skills had progressed with every model that I brought in. Um, Larry kept feeding me with pick, uh, pick polymers plans, with old Walt Mooney plans. You would pull out a model builder magazine. And so his peanut scale models became one of my favorites. And uh, every month I would bring a new model in and show it off at the monthly club meetings. And that was a lot of fun. Got my first exposure to public speaking as well. 